you hear about all the great coaches of all time, the great head coaches like Red Arback and Pat Riley and Red Holtzman and Phil Jackson, Greg Popovich, Jerry Sloan, Larry Brown. Uh, but you don't really hear much about John Cundler. And John Cundler was the coach of George Mikan and those uh, dynasty teams with George Mikan and the Minneapolis Lakers in the 1950s. And um, don't really hear much about him as far as like background or or biography or anything. So I thought I'd take the time out to do a video about him right now. And um, John Cundler was born on uh, July 3rd, 1916 in Star Junction, Pennsylvania. And when he was five years old, his family moved to Minneapolis. And um, he was a star basketball player at the now defunct Minneapolis Central High School in Minneapolis, of course. And after high school, Cundler attended the University of Minnesota, which I believe is the same university that Kevin McHale came out of. Um, he was also a standout with the Golden Gophers basketball team in the late 1930s. And following graduation, he stayed on at the university as an assistant coach to a fellow by the name of Dave McMillan. He then went on to move to the high school ranks as head coach of De La Salle High School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. After two years there, and after the United States entered World War II in December 1941, Cundler then joined the Navy, uh, where he was assigned to LST units in both the European and Pacific theaters. Uh, after the war, he became coach of the College of St. Thomas. Uh, after uh, the 1946-47 season for uh, that team, the infant Minneapolis Lakers extended an offer to John Cundler to coach the team, uh, coaching then what was called the National Basketball League, or the NBL. At the time, Cundler turned the offer down. He wasn't really, uh, according to sources, he wasn't impressed with uh, the talent, and he also didn't uh, feel that the money was worthwhile. Uh, later on, Shortly, uh, the team uh, gave him another offer, and this time up the offer to twice uh, what he was getting paid with uh, his current team. And that time, uh, he accepted the job. And uh, when he joined the coaching ranks, uh, the Minneapolis Lakers were immediately successful, and they went on to become uh, a championship caliber team when George Mikan, who... I guess what we would call now a free agent, joined the team as his old team, the Chicago American Gears, uh, folded. Um, eventually, the NBL and the National Basketball Association merged, and it became the known as what we call now the NBA. And from, I believe, 1949 or 1948, I think it was, to 1954, the Minneapolis Lakers won five titles, um, with the one year being 1950-51, when Mike broke his ankle toward the latter part of the season, and the Rochester Royals won the championship, the only year that they didn't win a title. And the only other franchise that was that dominant the only two franchises I can think of that showed that level of dominance would be the 1950s and 60s Boston Celtics and, of course, the 1990s Chicago Bulls. So, you know, John Cundler was at the helm of one of the greatest dynasties of all time. Uh, later on, as George Mikan aged, uh, he retired, of course, and the team s slowly went downhill. And... Uh, as Mikan left the team, the team wasn't as profitable, and uh, the franchise was going to be have to be forced to move. As a matter of fact, the Lakers nearly folded. The Minneapolis Lakers they nearly folded. It wasn't if it wasn't for the acquisition of Elgin Baylor, who became a a, a preeminent star. I mean, who became one of the preeminent stars in the NBA. But ultimately, the team would have to move, and they didn't move to the, the Los Angeles area, and. John Cundler chose to give up his coaching position because he did not want to relocate out of Minneapolis. 
So he uh, resigned as head coach of the Lakers and stayed uh, in his area. And he went on to coach his alma mater, University of Minnesota, while the Lakers moved west to the to Los Angeles, and they became uh, pretty much probably the face of the NBA. Uh, definitely by the 1980s, they were the marquee franchise. Of course, Boston Celtics were the, at, 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 was the first in marquee franchise, but the Lakers in the 80s, and they liked the marquee team. But anyway, uh, he went on to coach at the University of Minnesota, and he would coach from 1959 to 1968. He retired from coaching in 1968 and stayed on as a physical education uh, teacher at that university. And he retired from teaching in 1981. Uh, he was voted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 1995. And in 1996, he was voted one of the top 10 coaches in league history uh, by the NBA. And remarkably... John Cundler is still with us. Uh, he lives in uh, an assistant living home in Minneapolis. Uh, he exercises every day, though he is confined to a wheelchair. Um, he stayed friends with uh, players like George Mikan and Vern Mickelson uh, for the rest of their lives. Uh, to give you a, a glimpse of his longevity, uh, he was older, of course, than Mike and Vern Mickelson, but he's outlived both of them. Mike and died in 2006, and Vern Mickelson, I think, died in 2014. I might be wrong which year it was, but I think it was 2014. But Vern Mickelson uh, was the last to pass. Um, Kundla remains a fan of the NBA today. Um, he marvels at the size and quickness and athleticism of today's players um one thing i think that should be noted about him i remember reading this article i did a little research to this video uh he was the first coach in the history of the university of minnesota to give scholarships to african-american players and he received a lot of hate mail for that uh but this year uh, john cundla turned 100 years old and he's the oldest living Hall of Famer uh, right now in, in uh, Facebook Memorial Basketball and I wanted to do a tribute video to him uh, for his career he had a 58% winning percentage uh, in an area you know in an era where it was still pretty competitive so uh, this video is a tribute to John Cundler a living legend in basketball history